since we know how we can create a functional component inside react.js now it's time to move on the props or the properties of any functional component or any type of component actually so here we can see this prop doesn't have anything not even any children so how we can move into the prop kind of thing remember when i have started this uh, lessons i told you that prop is not a different thing it's just like any attribute on your normal html so here we have a div with the id of root so because it is a html tag so we call id as an attribute but when it comes to the jsx or you can say the react component so instead of calling the attribute we are calling it as a prop so think about this props as an attribute so similar to attribute we can pass some uh, props or properties in our component so as we said let's try to give the id of hello but remember this id is not an attribute of any html it's just a name i have given so if i refresh here with a log of that component now this props holding one prop which is called id of hello but instead of id what i can see in this function this function is actually showing this variable value my title but this variable is outside of this function what if the function doesn't have the access to my title for demonstrating that thing i'm going to convert this my el into a functional component also so i'm going to use the arrow function to just convert it into a functional component and then i'm going to actually use curly braces and i'm going to return this thing and because this is now a functional component we cannot directly use my el if i use that thing it is giving warning and saying that you have a component so use it as a component why you are using it as a variable so this means we need to convert it into a self-closing tag and remember this should be a pascal case so my el like this now let's refresh okay so everything is back to normal but as i told you i can move this my title from here which is globally defined to inside this my el functional component so remember this is just a function which is returning something so in between we can define any variable that's just a function so now what if i refresh this page now it says my title is not defined hmm we have now big problem we have defined my h1 which is using my title but my title is defined inside my el how we can pass this data or this information of my title into this my h1 remember the props thing yes so i'm going to show you by just logging inside this functional component and instead of passing the id i'm going to pass as let's say data and the data is my title but remember i told you that whenever we try to use some javascript thing we need to use the curly braces so now this data is having a value of whatever the value my title holds so now save this page and refresh this chrome yes we are getting these error but at the top we have this log and in this props we have a data that is saying hello jsx wow this means i can remove the log here and really pass the data as my title remember to use these curly braces to define the value of my title okay so we have given this as a prop how we can access the prop inside the functional component so every functional component actually accept the props 
it is the function of react.js now if i log the props let's see what's going to happen and i think you guessed it right we are getting exactly data as hello jsx now since we have this uh, props so instead of my title i can say props dot data because this props is just an object so we can say props dot data so we have a props dot data and we can simply save this file refresh this page and yes we have hello jsx but this hello jsx is coming as a props one more thing is that you can name your prop anything i told you it could be anything generally if i try to send my title i would use my title as a prop name and the value of my title as the my title <laughs> okay lots of my title but now because we have changed the prop name from data to my title i can go here on this my h1 and i can say props dot my title and save this file this will going to work exactly the same one last thing i want to show you that because this is a prop and we are sure that this uh, functional component need some prop and this prop always going to contain my title so why not use the destructuring of es6 and directly grab the my title in that way we don't have to define props dot and the value of the prop in that way it is also going to work as a hello jsx so we have seen that it is so much easy now to pass the data from one component to other component or i can say parent component to a child component